Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive, the carrying bus, Sydney. I've got a Porsche 996 C4S that came in for an actual alternator uh, fluctuating voltage on the actual cluster, um, dropping as well, and the battery is always dead. Um, today I'm doing the diagnostic test, so let's have a look. I had to charge the battery uh, this morning because I couldn't start the car, so I've got to do a current draw after. But just looking at the battery here, it's not really a uh, should be at least 80 mph. This is a 70 mph and it's an LTA battery. Uh, I don't recommend those batteries, it's not really that good. I recommend a, uh, a better battery, like from probably a Century is good. Or a um, Bata. Bata is probably the best, one of the best. But I'll talk to the customer later on. I just want to show you the actual charge rate of this car. I'm going to start it up. Alright, now the battery is dead again. Okay, we had to jump start the car again because the car battery wasn't strong enough. So it's running at 13.3 volts here at the front. Um, on the cluster. Close to about 13 something. Just under 13.4, 13.3 volts. Alright, now we're going to come to the back. Running at 13.6 volts at the battery post at the back of the alternator. 13.7, 13.71. So let's have a look at the front. Front saying 13.4 volts. All right. So let me show you. Sometimes voltage does not show the true charge rate of a car. When it comes to actually um, alternators, so I'll show you. I've got a tool that I'm gonna. The voltage is right on both sides, so even if I put the if I put the actual load up, see here, we'll drop, I'll put the lights on, drops down to 13.0, 13.1. If I put the aircon on, Drops down to 12.6, 12.7 volts. All right. So let me turn everything off. I just leave the light on, and I'll show you what I mean. All right. Let's have a look how much current is running for the. Turn the light off. Not much current at all. On. We're close to zero current running off. On. So there's not much current. So running for the actual cable to charge the battery. I'll show you what I mean here. This is a Mercedes fence, so I'll put this running. Put the lights on as well. See the difference? I've got about 5, 10, about 15 amps. 15 amps of current, DC current, going through the battery, through the cable, from the, from the alternator to the actual battery. Alright? Let's go back to the 996. Probably like one amp, just under, probably two, three amps. So this car's running at three amps, the other car's running at 15 amps. So should be higher than that, about 15 to 20 amps. All right. So I can actually say the alternator is not charging by looking at the actual amperage. All right. I'm gonna pull the actual alternator out, replace it while I'm while I'm replacing the alternator. Or maybe I can rebuild that alternator. I'll talk to the customer first. I can rebuild it or replace it with a brand new one. Uh, and I can check the cable as well just in case. Alright. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe.